following is a list of 23 of the most notoriously haunted museums in New York. Number 1. The 9-11 Memorial Site and Museum Many rescue workers and emergency response teams on the morning of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks in New York City reported witnessing the apparition of a mysterious, dark-skinned woman wearing a white dress who appeared at the collapsing World Trade Center to assist wounded victims and to help the souls of the deceased to pass over. Since the September 11th terrorist attacks, visitors at Ground Zero in Manhattan report witnessing the apparitions of victims and rescue workers who were killed tragically, as well as experiencing other paranormal phenomena, such as hearing disembodied voices, explosions, and screams, or feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Many first responders have also reported being visited in their dreams by the spirits of the deceased victims. Number 2. Buffalo Naval Park Museum Visitors at the Buffalo Naval Park Museum in Buffalo, New York report encountering apparitions and shadow figures aboard a decommissioned World War II-era destroyer called the USS The Sullivans. The USS The Sullivans first set sail in April of 1943 and was heavily involved in the naval conflicts of the Pacific Theater during World War II. It was named after five brothers. George, Francis, Joseph, Madison, and Albert Sullivan, who enlisted together and who were killed when their ship was struck by a torpedo from a Japanese destroyer. According to legend, the spirits of the five Sullivan brothers often appear aboard the USS The Sullivans, along with other former crew members whose restless spirits still remain. Number 3. The Chautauqua County Historical Society and McClurg Museum Built in 1818 as the McClurg Mansion, the McClurg Museum in Westfield, New York also houses the Chautauqua County Historical Society. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of a young woman who once worked in the house as a servant. Visitors at the museum have reported encountering the apparition of a woman dressed in maid's clothing, as well as hearing the disembodied sounds of a woman crying. Although many claim to witness the young woman's apparition, the reason for her presence is unknown. Number 4. The Dr. Best House and Medical Exhibit Constructed in 1884 as a doctor's office and home for the late Dr. Best, the Dr. Best House and Medical Exhibit in Middleburg, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirits of Dr. Best, his wife, and son, all of whom passed away in the house. The location is furnished with much of its original decor, as well as a variety of medical tools and devices from the late Victorian era. Paranormal investigators report witnessing apparitions and hearing disembodied voices as well as the unexplained sounds of a piano playing late at night when the house is empty. 
Others report feeling sudden cold spots as well as experiencing other paranormal phenomena, such as feeling the presence of an unseen entity or feeling as if being watched. The Dr. Best House and Medical Exhibit also hosts paranormal investigations and ghost tours during the Halloween season. Number 5. Fort William Henry Museum and Restoration Fort William Henry in Lake George, New York was established in 1755 as a British military outpost during the French and Indian War. It is said to be haunted by the spirits of over 200 British troops who were massacred by a tribe of Native American warriors after surrendering to invading French forces in 1757, though some estimate the number of casualties to be as high as 1,500. Visitors at the museum report witnessing the apparitions of former soldiers, as well as experiencing strange paranormal activity, such as disembodied voices, cold spots, doors opening and closing by themselves, and objects being moved by an unseen entity. The Fort William Henry Museum was featured on an episode of the popular television series, Ghost Hunters, in October of 2009. Number 6. The Frederick Remington Art Museum. Constructed in 1810 as a private residence, the Frederick Remington Art Museum in Ogdensburg, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman named Madame Vespucci, who lived in the home before it became a museum. Employees often report encountering Madame Vespucci's apparition and hearing the sounds of a disembodied female voice, as well as experiencing other paranormal activity such as cold spots and feelings of being watched by an unseen entity. Number 7. Historic Valentown Hall and Museum Constructed in 1879 as a shopping center, Valentown Hall in Victor, New York was converted into a museum in 1940. Visitors report witnessing apparitions as well as experiencing other paranormal phenomena such as disembodied voices, music, and objects moving by themselves. The old building is filled with hundreds of relics and artifacts dating back to the 1800s which many believe is the reason it is haunted. Number 8. The Iron Island Museum The Iron Island Museum in Buffalo, New York was built in 1883 as a church and was later used as a funeral home during the 1950s and 1960s. Employees working at the museum often report witnessing apparitions and shadow figures or experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena such as disembodied voices and cold spots. One commonly seen spirit is that of a man named Edgar Zernick, whose cremated remains sat in the building's basement unclaimed for years, as well as the spirits of two twin boys who passed away during the 1960s. The Iron Island Museum offers late-night ghost tours and investigations 
and is said to be haunted by multiple other unidentified apparitions who are believed to be attached to some of the historical objects on display. Number 9. Jefferson County Historical Society and Museum Also known as the Paddock Mansion, the Jefferson County Historical Society in Watertown, New York, was constructed in 1876 by Edwin and Olive Paddock. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of Mrs. Paddock, whose apparition is seen by visitors wearing a green dress. Employees also report experiencing paranormal activity such as cold spots, disembodied voices, footsteps, and feelings of being watched by an unseen entity. Number 10. Lake George Historical Association and Museum The Lake George Historical Association and Museum in Lake George, New York, was constructed in 1845 as the Warren County Courthouse, where outlaws were jailed and major criminal trials were once held. The location served as the headquarters for many government officials until 1963, and is said to be haunted by the spirits of former prisoners who were sentenced to death and executed. Visitors at the location often report witnessing apparitions as well as experiencing sudden cold spots and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 11. Megara's Stagecoach Inn and Cornerstone Masonic Historical Society. Constructed in the late 1700s as a rest stop for stagecoach travelers, the Megara's Stagecoach Inn in Monroe, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a man whose apparition is seen wearing a black suit and top hat. Tourists visiting the museum often report witnessing the man's apparition throughout the location, as well as experiencing other paranormal phenomena such as sudden cold spots and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Although many have reported encountering the man's apparition, the reason for his presence is unknown. Number 12. Museum of the Moving Image Opened in 1988, the Museum of the Moving Image in Astoria is said to be haunted by the spirit of an unidentified woman whose apparition is seen wearing a long white dress. Employees also report hearing the sounds of disembodied voices and footsteps coming from areas that are believed to be empty. One visitor in 2016 reported being alone at the museum shortly before closing when he heard the disembodied sounds of a man's voice close by which allegedly frightened the man so much that he immediately left the building without ever looking back. Although many have reported encountering spirits at the Museum of the Moving Image, the reason for their presence is unknown. Number 13 the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum. Guests at the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, report witnessing shadow figures and apparitions, as well as experiencing other paranormal activity, such as disembodied voices 
and feelings of being watched by an unseen entity. The museum currently offers ghost tours for visitors during the Halloween season. Number 14. Old Fort Niagara State Park and Museum. Constructed in 1678 by French settlers, Old Fort Niagara in Youngstown, New York is said to be haunted by the spirit of a French soldier who was beheaded in a duel. Visitors often report encountering the man's headless apparition as well as witnessing the apparitions of other fallen soldiers who were killed in battle. Old Fort Niagara was added to the National Register of Historic Places in October of 1966. Number 15. The Old Stone Fort Museum. Constructed in 1772 as a church, the building became known as the Old Stone Fort after being fortified and used as a fortress during the American Revolutionary War. It was later used as an armory for Union forces during the American Civil War. Visitors at the Old Stone Fort report witnessing apparitions as well as hearing disembodied screams and the sounds of an organ playing late at night. Number 16. Palmyra Historical Museum. Constructed during the early 1800s as a hotel and tavern, the Palmyra Historic Museum in Palmyra, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a young woman and her six young children who were killed in a fire in 1964. Visitors often report encountering apparitions of the woman and her deceased children, as well as hearing the sounds of disembodied voices and children laughing. Employees working at the museum report witnessing objects within the old building being moved or rearranged by an unseen entity, as well as experiencing unexplained cold spots and feelings of being watched. The Palmyra Historic Museum offers ghost tours and investigations during the Halloween season. Number 17, Raynham Hall Museum. Purchased by the Townsend family in May of 1738, Raynham Hall in Oyster Bay, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman named Sally Townsend, as well as several other members of the Townsend family. According to legend, Sally fell in love with a British soldier during the American Revolutionary War. She allegedly betrayed her lover after discovering his plans to sabotage Patriot forces at West Point, and they never spoke again. She died at age 82, having never married. Since Sally's death, Tourists visiting the Raynham Hall Museum have reported encountering the spirit of an elderly woman, as well as experiencing unexplained cold spots and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 18. The Roberson Museum and Science Center. Built in 1904 as the Roberson Family Mansion, 
The Roberson Museum and Science Center in Binghamton, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of its original owner, Alonzo Roberson, who passed away in 1934. Visitors at the museum also report encountering the spirits of several unidentified young children whose apparitions are seen and heard playing in the hallways, and employees often claim to witness the apparition of an elderly man around closing time. Others report feeling cold spots and sudden drops in temperature as well as other unexplained paranormal phenomena such as disembodied voices and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 19. Seneca Falls Historical Society and Museum Constructed in the mid-1800s as a private residence, the Seneca Falls Historical Society in Seneca Falls, New York, was once part of a larger 10-acre estate which also included a vineyard, carriage house, and orchard. Employees at the location report witnessing a male apparition believed to be Edward Minders, the house's original owner as well as the spirit of a young Irish girl and an older woman who is believed to be a former nanny. Number 20. Staten Island Historical Society and Living History Museum. Also known as Historic Richmond Town, the Staten Island Historical Society is a living history museum in Staten Island, New York, with many buildings dating back to the late 1600s. Many of the old buildings are said to be haunted by the spirits of past residents who died of illness or from other natural causes. The Guyon Lake Tyson House was built in 1740 and is said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman named Elizabeth Lake Tyson, as well as a number of her young children who all passed away before reaching adulthood. Tourists visiting the Guyon Lake Tyson house report witnessing apparitions as well as hearing disembodied voices, footsteps, and sounds. In some cases, trigger objects such as toys and candy are seen being moved or played with by the spirit of a young child. Employees at the old county clerk and surrogate's office also report hearing disembodied sounds in empty areas of the building as well as experiencing sudden cold spots and other paranormal activity such as objects being moved around, rearranged, or misplaced by an unseen entity. Number 21. The Museum of Modern Art. The Museum of Modern Art, sometimes referred to simply as the MoMA, in Manhattan, New York, first opened on November 7, 1929, and is renowned as being one of the largest and most influential art museums in the world. The location is said to be haunted by the spirit of an unidentified woman, sometimes referred to as the Lady in White, and other times simply as the MoMA Ghost. Security guards and other employees working at the Museum of Modern Art at night have reported catching glimpses of the Lady in White, as well as experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena, such as lights flickering or turning on and off by themselves, and objects being moved by an unseen entity. 
Many also report feeling a strange presence or hearing disembodied thuds and other sounds coming from the building's sixth floor, which is strictly off limits to guests and employees. Number 22. Washington Irving's Sunnyside Museum. Washington Irving's Sunnyside Museum in Irvington, New York, was built as a private residence in 1835 by the American author Washington Irving, who is famous for writing the novel The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. The museum is said to be haunted by the spirit of Washington Irving, as well as his five nieces, who all lived and died in the home. Many guests report witnessing apparitions, feeling strange cold spots, and experiencing other unexplained paranormal activity, such as hearing disembodied voices and whispers, and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Employees working at Washington Irving's Sunnyside Museum also claim to arrive at the location in the morning to find that someone has mysteriously cleaned the location or rearranged different objects and furniture. Number 23. William Phelps General Store and Home Museum Constructed in 1826, the William Phelps General Store and Home in Palmyra, New York, is believed to be haunted by the spirit of a woman named Sybil Phelps, the last member of the Phelps family, who passed away in 1976. Visitors at the museum report witnessing Mrs. Phelps' apparition as well as other unidentified spirits. Others report hearing disembodied footsteps and voices, as well as feeling the sensation of being touched by an unseen entity, and many employees have reported encountering a spectral cat that disappears when approached. That concludes my list of 23 notorious haunted museums in New York. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more creepy videos and other content. And if you visited one of these locations, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments. To see my full list of folklore tales and haunted locations in New York, check out the link in the description and be sure to check out my new book, The Folklore and Haunted Locations Guide, New York, available now on Amazon. To check out more of my creepy videos, Click the thumbnails shown on the screen.